welcome to the seventh lecture of compiler construction in this lecture we will learn the second technique for syntax directed translation uh, which is in fact our uh, topic continued from last lecture and this second technique is named as translation scheme first of all we will see that what the translation scheme is and then we will see that how we can apply the translation scheme for converting uh, in fixed form of expressions to post fix form and we will see such examples with uh, starting from the simple in fixed expressions conversion into post fix form and then we will see another example for converting uh, in fixed form expressions uh, that are parenthesized and then at the end of this lecture uh, I will tell you about the uh, next assignment which you have to submit before next lecture translation scheme is simply a context free grammar in which program fragments called semantic actions are embedded within the right sides of the production so it means it's uh, unlike the last technique which was syntax directed definition in fact in that technique uh, we have to uh, write two columns whereas in this technique only we have to write the grammar but the translation scheme is different from grammar in a way that uh, within the translation scheme there are uh, program fragments as well within the grammar uh, and these uh, program fragments are called semantic actions so in fact uh, with the help of these semantic actions in the grammar uh, the order of evaluation of semantic rules is explicitly shown so in next slides we will uh, come to know that how that order of uh, evaluation of semantic rules is explicitly shown okay so let's revise uh, the conversion of infix to postfix expressions uh, for example this is a infix expression e uh, 3 plus 5 within parenthesis minus 4 uh, and uh, thinking uh, deeply about it we will see that this expression is uh, in fact uh, consists of uh, two sub expression first one is 3 plus 5 within parenthesis and second sub expression is just a, uh, a digit that is 4 uh, and, and these two uh, operands or these two sub expressions are connected with the help of minus operator uh, and the postfix expression of uh, uh, this uh, infix expression uh, equivalent to this infix expression uh, is uh, can be uh, um, obtained with the help of this rule which we have learned in last lecture uh, in fact the postfix form uh, uh, of the main expression is equal to the postfix form of first sub expression then postfix form of second sub expression and then operator so applying this rule we will see that uh, this uh, main expressions uh, postfix form that is e prime is equal to 3 plus 5 within parenthesis sub expressions postfix form that is 3 5 plus and then 4 postfix form that is 4 and then minus okay so if we want to convert such uh, infix expressions into postfix form using translation scheme then the translation scheme will look like this uh, if you see here it's just like a grammar mm, just if we just ignore these uh, 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 semantic actions which are which are embedded within the right size of productions then it is just a simple grammar but uh, within this grammar the semantic actions are uh, explicitly written uh, within the right sides of the production and uh, 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 the semantic action are just going to output the tokens at a particular position okay so uh, these things uh, which are in fact the program fragments uh, like this is an output output statement in C++ 
so these uh, statements are uh, or you, so you can say these program fragments are called semantic actions which are embedded within the right sides of the productions so now we look here that how to convert infix to postfix expressions uh, with the help of translation scheme so for example uh, we get 2 minus 3 plus 5 as a input and we have to convert uh, this infix form expression into postfix form using translation scheme which is uh, in fact given here then first of all uh, mm, we will write uh, a kind of pass tree uh, but not against the, its grammar uh, this pass tree is against this translation scheme okay so what's the difference between tra grammar and uh, translation scheme in grammar there are no uh, semantic actions whereas in translation scheme there are semantic actions so accordingly when we uh, draw a pass tree using this translation scheme uh, in order to uh, uh, draw or you can say in order to show the uh, children of trees uh, which are in fact the semantic actions we represent them uh, in a different way we represent them in a dashed line so here here you look some difference uh, here you can see some difference uh, like a digit can have the form of 2 whereas a semantic action uh, see how 2 is also written here and similarly digit can have the form of 3 and the semantic action see how 3 is also written here it is because uh, within the, uh, the translation scheme here digit can have the form of 2 and then semantic action uh, see out uh, 2 is written ok so this past V is drawn exactly to uh, exactly by seeing this translation scheme and uh, if we uh, after drawing this past tree, if we uh, 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 traverse this uh, past tree using depth first traversal, then uh, uh, of course, first of all, we will uh, start from root node and then we will go to uh, 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 to the leftmost child and then leftmost child, leftmost child and leftmost child, and then this next child. Uh, and within this process of uh, traversing each node we will see that whether the semantic action has come or not if the semantic action has come then that semantic action uh, will be executed so it means uh, the order of uh, 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 you can say the execution of these semantic actions is explicitly given within this uh, translation scheme okay so uh, again I repeat uh, starting from the root node we will go to its uh, leftmost child which is again a non-terminal and uh, hence uh, because it's not a semantic action so that's why nothing nothing will happen and we will go to its uh, leftmost child that is again expression then we will go to its next uh, leftmost child digit leftmost child 2 which is not a semantic action so nothing will happen then next child that is C out Two. so it means uh, we have to display 2 so this uh, statement will execute by execution means the 2 will be printed ok so the output 2 will be shown ok and then it means these both children of digit uh, has executed 2 and this semantic action so this this node is completed so we will go to its parent node that is exp then we will go to its parent node now its first leftmost child is completed and then next child is minus okay the next child is digit the next child is the, the, the leftmost child of digit is 3 the next child is this semantic action okay so whenever the semantic action comes it will be executed so it means the 3 will be displayed okay so uh, 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 first of all uh, 2 will be uh, 2 was displayed and then now 3 had uh, 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 had been displayed so next uh, minus will be displayed next uh, during this depth first traversal next semantic action is this 5 and next semantic action is plus so after that the depth first traversal of this tree will be completed 
so it means the final output uh, that that's in fact the uh, uh, postfix of uh, the given input uh, is 2 3 minus 5 plus which is the ultimate goal of uh, uh, to use this uh, translation scheme okay now here we look another uh, example and that is infix to prefix conversion of expressions uh, for uh, infix to prefix conversion of expressions uh, uh, let's uh, let's revise uh, the rules let's uh, let's say uh, e is an infix expression uh, which is uh, 3 plus 5 within parenthesis minus 4 uh, so it consists of two sub expressions 3 plus 5 within parenthesis and the next one is next sub expression is 4 and these two sub expressions uh, surrounding the operator minus okay uh, so the post prefix form uh, of these this infix expression is uh, uh, minus and then uh, the prefix form of the first sub expression that is plus 3 5 and then uh, the prefix form of second sub expression that is 4 so uh, within uh, this example of infix to prefix conversion of expressions where the uh, uh, our input infix expression is parenthesized uh, 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 this translation scheme can be written okay so uh, accord, uh, according to our required output which is actually the prefix form the semantic actions uh, position or you can say the semantic actions uh, embedding within the right side of uh, production uh, looks different than the previous example okay here the semantic action comes first because uh, in fact we have to display the tokens first uh, in fact the tokens are uh, uh, operators okay uh, in, in first production and in second production and we have to display the operators uh, in start uh, 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 in order to uh, generate prefix form okay so that's why we have written the translation scheme in this way and uh, according to this translation scheme if we get some input like uh, this one then we have to uh, uh, draw uh, a pass tree for this uh, given sequence of tokens uh, using this translation scheme okay so first of all uh, because this expression is mainly uh, the expression of the minus of op uh, operator so we will use this uh, production expression can have the form of uh, semantic action and exp minus parent so the expression can have the form of semantic action which is in fact the display of uh, minus operator and then exp minus parent okay and next uh, expression can have the form of uh, because this expression is just a digit so we have to uh, uh, generate a digit uh, which can be generated from expression as uh, using this translation scheme the expression can have the form of parent then parent can have the form of digit and then digit can have the form of uh, uh, semantic action uh, see out two and then uh, token two okay and then next uh, if we see uh, here parent the evaluation uh, or you can say the uh, next uh, proceeding the tree from this parent then uh, we have to generate in fact uh, a 3 plus 5 uh, expression within parenthesis and from parent we can have uh, we can use this uh, production that is exp can have the form of uh, that is exp within parenthesis okay here expression uh, can be generated uh, or you can say uh, uh, the tree or from this expression node uh, can be generated like this expression can have the form of uh, c out plus uh, uh, as a semantic action and then exp exp and then plus plus and then parent okay and so on so uh, uh, if we uh, want to generate the output then as usual uh, in case of uh, this uh, translation scheme we have to uh, uh, do the depth first traversal of this uh, tree 
and during this breakfast there was still of course uh, first of all we will start from this uh, root node and then we will go to the leftmost child and then we will go to the next child and so on and during this process first of all this semantic action will be executed means minus will be displayed and then the next semantic action will uh, that will execute will be this one and then my uh, two will be displayed and then plus will be displayed and then three will be displayed and similarly then five will be displayed so minus two plus three plus five uh, sorry minus two plus three five will be the required output of uh, this expression and now uh, at the end of this lecture i will uh, give you an assignment uh, that that's just a practice for the previous lecture and this lecture in fact uh, in previous lecture and this lecture we have learned a new uh, topic that we, that is syntax practice translation so uh, in order to have the uh, uh, good practice for this uh, topic uh, you have to solve this uh, assignment uh, this assignment consists of four parts and uh, each part has uh, one mark so uh, the total marks for this assignment is uh, uh, four marks and uh, if we see here in part a then you just have to write a syntax directed definition uh, uh, whose target will be uh, to convert the infix expressions into prefix form uh, whereas the infix expressions that means uh, the input should uh, adhere to the following rules and uh, the, those rules are uh, the expressions uh, consists of uh, digits that are uh, of course 0 to 9 and the operators are uh, uh, given below means plus minus multiplication division and the power operator and uh, uh, as well as uh, th these expressions uh, should cover the parenthesized expressions uh, as well so it means parentheses are also allowed uh, within these expressions uh, of infix form the order of uh, uh, associativity and uh, precedence is uh, shown here so the uh, uh, lowest precedence is of uh, plus and minus operator and then the next level of precedence is multiplication and division and then the highest uh, level of precedence among all operators is of uh, power operator and uh, then after operators uh, you can say the highest level uh, is uh, of parenthesis so it means the uh, whenever uh, these all things are within the expression then first of all we have to evaluate the parenthesis and then uh, the next uh, we have to see for power and then for multiplication and division and in last uh, the evaluation should be of plus and minus okay so this is the precedence uh, level and when we see the associativity then plus minus multiplication and division all are left associative whereas at this operator uh, the power operator is a right associative okay so uh, you have to uh, uh, write a syntax directed definition from infix to prefix conversion of expressions whereas the infix expressions uh, should follow these rules okay then in next part you have to draw a pass tree uh, uh, for the following input uh, 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 in fixed expression uh, in order to convert uh, this uh, in fix uh, expression uh, uh, sequence of tokens into a prefix form okay using the syntax directed definition which you have written in part a okay then the next part is you have to write a translation scheme uh, for the same problem that is uh, written in part a and then uh, you have to draw uh, a past v by seeing the translation scheme of uh, part c okay and uh, considering the input of part B means this one okay so this is all for today thank you